Welcome to I am simple techie channel. In this video we will learn on how to create a dynamic carousel row or image slider slow using models. Before we start we will have a short recap on what was learned from the part 1 of this video. This video is the part 2 of the title create a dynamic home page for an online e-shop. In the part 1 of this video we had created header row and the notice row. Header row was created by MVC scaffolding task and we did a very minimal changes in that row. In the layouts.cshtml we had removed the bootstraps bottom margin class mp-3 from the navbar. Then we had changed the main container of the body class from container class to container iPhone fluid class. In site.css we had created a few CSS style classes notify class and no padding class namely. Then we started creating models for the project. First we had created the smart row model class. All the row models of this project inherits from the smart row model class. We created smart row model as an abstract class so that this class cannot be created directly and it must be inherited. Then we had created the notice row model and inherited it from the smart row model. Notice row model class is a very simple class with only a single property notify text. Then we had created the index view model class and added the instance of notice row model class to the index view model. Then we had created a method named load default values to populate the default values in the index view model. That's what happened in the part 1 of the video. If you are not clear on any of the things, please watch the part 1 of the video to understand well. In this video we will learn on how to create a carousel row in ASP.NET Core 3.1 with MVC using C Shop. First we will copy the HTML source of the carousel row from the browser of the final output page. This is the source of the final output from the browser's view source. I have pasted the source copied from the browser to the index.cshtml. Then create a folder named images inside the www root. We will keep all the images of the project in this folder. For now I have copied the carousel related images in this folder. We are going to create the carousel row with four images but you can have any number of images in the carousel. Let us save the project and run the project. That's great. Our HTML carousel is displayed and sliding properly. Now we want to change this carousel to a dynamic carousel by adding the model. Let us create a new model named carousel row model. As usual this class will inherit from the smart row model. This class will hold all the carousel items of the carousel row. Inside the carousel row model class we will have one more class named carousel item. Now I have created the carousel item class. This class has four public properties named is active image path image text and index. In this class is active is a boolean property and image path image text are string properties and then index property is of type integer. In here we are using the read only keyword before the index property. In C shop read only properties can be assigned values only by the constructor method. So it means the index property can be assigned value only by the constructor. Ok we are done with the carousel item class now. Now we will continue creating the carousel row model class. The carousel row model class will have a generic list of type carousel item. Then we will add three public properties of type boolean show previous button, show next button and show indicators. Then we will add a public method named add carousel item. 
in here we are passing the value for the read only index property of the carousel item this is the only way to set the value for read only properties that's it our carousel row model is ready let us walk through at the complete code of our carousel row model before we move on the carousel row model has three properties and a generic list to type list of type carousel item to hold the carousel items and a method to add the carousel item to the generic list then it has a carousel item inner class let's open the index view model dot cs to add the carousel row model to our index view model declare a variable of type carousel row model in our index view model then add a method named create carousel to create the carousel row in this method we are passing only the image names because in this project we will save all the images only in the www root slash images folder in here we are making the first item caro.jpg as an active item by passing the value true to the active parameter by default this parameter holds the value false then we will call this method in the load default values method that's it we are done with the models let us walk through at the complete code of our index view model before we move on index view model as a property named notice row of type index row notice row model which we had created in the part 1 of this video then it has method named load default values this is the method which loads all the default values to the index view model for now then we added a property named carousel row of type carousel row model then we added a method named create carousel in this method we are adding the images to the carousel row model then we are calling the load default values method in the constructor of the index view model let us open up the index.css html in here we will insert the carousel.css class from the model to the carousel holder div we will delete the pt-1 class of bootstrap and we will call our model dot carousel row dot css class then we will make the presence of our carousel indicators to conditional it means we can hide or show the indicators based on the show carousel indicators property of the carousel row model if model dot carousel row dot show indicators equal to true then we will call the carousel indicators if the show indicators value equal to false then we will hide the carousel indicators we are creating a for each iteration to run through all the carousel items of the carousel row model to create the indicators dynamically in here we are checking the is active property of the carousel item if it is true we add the bootstrap class active to the html carousel list item and we are assigning the carousel items index property to the data hyphen slide to property of the html carousel list item so that when you click the indicators it will show up the respective carousel image i have deleted all the unwanted lines from the html code let's save and run the project yes indicator shows showing now let's try to hide the indicators now let us open the index view dot model then we'll make the carousel row dot show indicators to false then we will save and run the project look at the carousel row in the output now the indicators are disappeared see whereas in the original the indicators are shown by this way we can show or hide the indicators by changing the show indicators of the carousel row model and now we are done with the carousel row indicators 
Now we will create the carousel image slides. Let's open up the index.cshtml and we'll locate the carousel slides html. In here also we will run a for each iteration to loop through all the carousel items of the carousel row model. Earlier we created the iteration to create the carousel indicators but this time we are running the iteration to create the carousel slides. And then we are checking the carousel item of the carousel row model for its active property. If it is true we add the CSS bootstrap class active to the carousel item div. Otherwise we will leave it. We will call the url.content for the caro item dot image path to get the virtual path of the image and we have assigned the caro item dot image path to the source property of the image tag. Then we assign the caro item dot image text to the alternative text property of the image tags. Let's save and run the project. Oops, the images are not displayed. Something went wrong. Let's see the page source to understand the error. The virtual path of the image is not rendered properly. I think there is a small error in the carousel row model. We will check and fix that issue. Yes, found the error. I pass the str image name parameter directly to the image path but I should have passed str image source variable instead. So let's pass the str image source now. Now I have made the required change. Let's save and run the project. Perfect carousel items are displaying now. So we are almost done with the carousel row. Let's continue. Now we will check the show previous button property of the carousel row model. If it is true we show up the move previous button or else we will hide the move previous button. Likewise we are checking the we are checking the show next button property of the carousel item. If it is true we show up the move next button or else we will hide the move next button. Let's save and run the project. That's great. It looks very good. But the carousel looks like it is attached to the notice row. So I would like to add a top padding class to the carousel. And also I like to hide the move previous and move button, move next buttons. Then I also want to show the carousel indicators. Let's, let's do these changes in the index view model. I have made the desired changes in the create carousel method of the index view model. Now let's save and run the project. Wow, that's so easy. We got the blank line between the carousel row and the notice row. And also the carousel indicators are visible now. And move next and move previous buttons got disappeared. Now we are done with the carousel row. This carousel is dynamic and very easy to create and manage. In the next video, we will create the remaining rows of the final output page. And we'll learn on how to create the partial views. Please watch the part 3 of this video to continue learning. Thanks for watching and bye for now.